Hey Cancers, welcome back to the channel. This is Diane 303 High Priestess. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Let's a card here for Cancer. What message do you have here for Cancer? We're going to find out what your message is here this week. If this reading resonates with you, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I upload for you again. Okay, here, Cancer. I feel like you're helping someone. That's what I'm seeing here as I'm looking at your cards, okay? Um, and in return, I feel like you're helping yourself as well. There are all these cards here. So... Let's see what's coming out here for you. So Cancer, I'm, I'm looking over your cards here. That was a long pause. I don't normally do that. I feel like I'm really feeling your energy here. Um, even before I sat down, I was just thinking about you, Cancer, and your energy, um, meditating over this reading. And I feel like your spirit team definitely wants you to know that uh, you are a natural empath. You seem to um, see beneath the surface of people here, okay, and what they are actually presenting to others in the world that's what i'm feeling here you're helping someone that's what i feel someone coming towards you seeking your help seeking your guidance or um your attention okay so your spirit team is wanting you to be this compassionate ear here that's what i'm feeling you have bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius here the new moon, I believe, will be in Leo. That's coming up August 8th. But I feel here, um, someone sees you as being very intuitive, very down to earth here, um, and connected to your higher self. This is how this person sees you here, okay? I feel like definitely someone is wanting your attention or wanting to come towards you and wanting your assistance. I feel like they're trying to find an escape from some type of trauma or pain that they have gone through and your guidance is needed. I see you being of assistance. You have assistance, okay? You have the chaser coming in here. You also have I like you and you have the camera that's coming in this may be someone that you know here cancer someone that has feelings for you or have feelings for you in the past i feel like this person still has feelings okay for you um or positive feelings about you okay and they want to um someone so you're um really influencing someone's life here okay they this person wants to be um deep like you <laughs> I don't know why they're giving me the word like that but they want to be deep like you they want to get in touch with them with their self okay um could be a past lover this could have been someone that you were chasing uh but they're showing up as the chaser now okay so someone is wanting you back possibly because you're growing here and your energy is very strong at this moment here okay so um someone sees you as invaluable support okay they see you as being very kind and compassionate um so they're chasing after you chasing up after your attention here you have hands of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing their hand gambling um you also have a time for healing that's coming in here we're going to clarify both of these cards for some of you this feels like a twin flame that you were dealing with or could be a soulmate doesn't matter which one you may have had a lot of conflict with this individual but this person is going to come back because you made them feel better okay uh you made you gave them a lot of um 
energy, a lot of attention here, okay? But you also had a lot of conflict with them and you lost a lot of love for someone here, okay? Some of you guys may have taken a chance on someone and the relationship failed or the, the person did not leave. Uh, live up to their promises and you found yourself being very disappointed over this connection or this relationship this person will seek you out again could be a friend could be a lover here okay but right now I, I see you cancer being in this position where you're trying to heal yourself but you will still uh, extend your kindness or extend your um, encourage someone okay but I don't see you physically reconnecting with them i just want to put it out there i don't see you physically reconnecting with them you have twin flames coming in and you have show the world the real you this is what you're working on and i don't feel like it is your twin flame or this soulmate okay or this lover past lover um that your focus is on your focus is on developing your own self at this moment Let's clarify this. That's full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. This wants to come out. So you have the Knight of Pentacles. Possible offer coming in. You possibly thinking about it. Um, and eventually cutting something out of your life. Because um, you have other plans. That's what I'm feeling. Hierophant card. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords energy here, okay? You want someone that is very serious, that resonates on the level that you are on right now at this moment. And you may choose not to give over your time or your attention to whoever this is, Cancer, okay? Um, words of encouragement and connecting with someone is two different things. So I feel like that's what they're saying. You may give words of encouragement. You may give, um, be kind to someone, but still reject an offer to reconnect on an intimate level or even as a friend you have self-indulgence focus on self-worth okay um time to heal it's saying that again time to heal but you know this intuitively i feel this already you know that it's time for yourself to heal and it's time to um Focus on yourself right now. Appreciate yourself. Do your own shadow work here and start to think about what next steps you want to take take in your life here. Okay, you have your dreams need practical plans. So this is a message from spirit letting me know here, Cancer, that you can receive what you want in your life. Um, but they need you need to have practical plans moving forward. So take this time out. Take a break. Okay, heal yourself from this heartache and then continue to work on yourself here. Okay, seven of pentacles is coming in with three of swords. So this is putting the focus back on you, uh, your self-worth, uh, doing your shadow work and uh, just continuously building um, and working on yourself. You're investing a lot of time and attention on you. Okay, your personal growth. So in the past here, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Air, okay, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Fire. So you did take a chance on someone, some relationship. Here's some offer that may have come in towards you. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But it proved to be a, a stressful situation here. That's what I'm saying, okay? So this is past energy. It's, it almost feels like I'm ready to let this go. I'm ready to move on um, in my path here, okay? I'm ready to release this burden, okay? Um, and this relationship, whoever this is. Some of you guys were dealing with a fire sign, water sign that I'm seeing here. In the present moment, you have four of air, the nine of fire, and the emperor card in the present moment so you're very careful right now cancer on who you give your time and your attention and your energy to um because you are going through this healing process you're protecting yourself um and not really letting anyone in that you were dealing with in the past possibly because you've learned a valuable lesson and you are knowing or feeling intuitively that this may be a test um for you okay this person coming back into your life here okay your card is saying don't give up protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself take control over your life here and continue to um 
do what you need to do for yourself here, okay? Standing your own power with the emperor energy um, that's coming in here. Be disciplined towards your goals and your desires and your dreams going forward in the future here, okay? This uh, emperor card is connected to your dreams, okay? And what you're working on. What you're trying to become successful in. That's why uh, your spirit team is saying your dreams need a practical plan. Don't let someone come in and disturb that that energy. Here you work so hard on yourself with the seven of pentacles that you don't need heartbreak here. This is a time to really focus on yourself and your self-worth here, okay? In the future, you have the Queen of Water, the Moon card that's coming in, and also the Star card uh, here in the future. So I feel like definitely your spirit team is here to guide you with this uh, Star card here, okay? They're letting me know through the cards here that better times are headed towards you, um, and that you are on the right path here, okay? They're saying make positive optimistic long-term goals and plans here and make sure they are practical you have this moon card coming in here that i feel like this is a release of your old self this energy here and you stepping into a new energy your um cards are saying release fears that hold you back um events behind the scenes so your spirit team I feel like they're working behind the scenes for you Oh, to warn you possibly of someone, possibly a fire sign, okay, um, that you were dealing with and an offer that is coming in in regards to our relationship. So yeah, you can have this energy here, Cancer, of being um, kind to someone or giving someone advice or having patience with someone, okay, but I feel like you're... You're not accepting this person back into your life because you feel like they still have hidden motives here, okay? You're going to look very carefully at some offer, some love offer that's coming in and decide to not involve yourself here, okay? Why? Because your intuition is kicking in with the Queen of Cups, okay? It's like I see the red flags and I'm not stepping into this um energy anymore okay i took a chance in the past here and um it proved to be very difficult with the ten of air here in the future you're more aware you're listening to your higher self here okay and you're taking care of yourself here cancer that's what i'm saying let's get a, your final messages out final messages out for cancer please okay you have music here okay express yourself by playing an instrument or singing music will lift your spirit i'm giggling here because I, I see you actually doing that here okay some of you guys are doing that to redirect your focus um yeah redirect your focus Back onto what you want to achieve in your life versus this relationship or this connection showing back up here. They're letting me know music is a form of healing as well. That's why they're wanting you to play music as well. Okay, um, You have focus here. You're in need of a clear direction. Decide what you want in life and go with that. Okay. And you have family. Family is everything. Reconnect with them or tell them you love them. I feel like that's the side message for you to reconnect with family. Be around those that will give you um, positive guidance here. This could be someone elderly or, um, yeah, yeah, someone elderly, I feel, in your life or someone that you know here, a family member here, okay? will give you clarity and guidance here in your time of need. That's why they're telling you to reconnect with your family here, okay? So that you can have guidance. You have career. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new here, okay? All right, Cancers, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Love you. Bye.